why don't we just change the name of this country to Consuma de Popula? I mean, that might even be Latin. Which would be fairly inappropriate considering the indigenous were here first, but... You know, I don't care anymore. It doesn't mean I never will again. It means that I've done my job here. Anybody who's had anything to say to me has said it already, and vice versa. Anyone who's tried to take anything from me has done it, and vice versa. Anyone who has assaulted me has done so. But not vice versa. You know, the strangest thing is I could be the most ruthless fucking killer anyone doesn't know. I could wait for just the right season and sit on a hill ridge and simply look for appropriate vehicles to aim, aim in the driver's side of. But I don't. Push to some limits, some may. Right in the streets now, it's getting pretty fucking close, to tell you that. Who's shooting into those protesting people anyhow? Someone who simply took off their uniform, picked up their KKK uniform, and, I don't know, put it in laundry and went and got a gun? I just wanted to mention it. And I've heard of it before. I've seen the sad, sad tales. The looks on their faces. And then the last one, he walked up with an Uzi. It was only one shot then, but it still killed him somehow. Then he just popped himself in an alley behind a tractor trailer truck. Who hasn't heard that old chestnut? Anyhow, it's been what it has been. I have no more debt to pay, and it was all mine to pay before I got here or any of you heard of it. Maybe you just barely did. And don't ask me to think you're going to cooperate with me because now you get it or something, or a wink and a nod and a smooch just be about what it is, right? Some pervy shit. All culled from body language of torturing people with any means necessary. Using any means they already have. Necessary. If I could say that what I accomplished by age 20 was perfection, and I truly did. I was in Oregon. Having a spiritual experience. In 2001, roughly. You know, before 2011, after it, whatever. That was a mere thought at that time. I came back and had the best of friends still. As per chance, I was merited by. By chance, and by the way, I was. Had experiences with women that I had never seen in a porn in my life. Um, oh, because I was a sweet, nice, kind guy who took no shit from anyone at a certain point. Not all bravado, and here's my big stick, and I walk real down. Beat my fucking chest and go unga bunga everywhere. 
which to this day I do not. So, if I could say by age 40, I will have again accomplished a, uh, revisited perfection, having seen what else out there there is. It's probably some rule, maybe not, at least what it was looking for at the time, the NSA or whomever. Maybe they weren't too interested in the 20-year-olds, the 25-year-olds. The kids just out there sucking on their soda pop, playing guitar in the sun before 9 11. I do know that the Patriot Act was used almost exclusively against any counterculture and merely reiterated the, the more refined version of some bullshit ideas from people that they wanted enacted into uh, policy. Not law, not legislation. That's another nebulous area. And I, I'm guessing it, it's a Latin hybrid with a bunch of other languages. That's what I hear. And I actually have to speak it every day. Pride is interesting. It's definitely something one earns. Um, <laughs> I have to say that I had a home I came from. I have to say the house was built on the burial ground. I have to say that Back to the Future 2 is not exactly what was there to look at. Although with the whole Biff Tannen, we own the police kid kind of shit, stuff, whatever. Hmm. <sighs> this one's definitely only going to be only 10 minutes and it's 7.40 about now, I think. Yep. Well, it changed the numbers into 7.40 for me to see it that way. But Torture follows reward. Follows torture, follows reward. Now the last track on Vitalogy by Pearl Jam might be the one that someone could listen to all day, but they probably wouldn't. They might be compelled to go get the people, find them at least, and rehabilitate them so the world may move on, even without violence, or the idea of punishment or being discarded, all of which is eye for an eye, making the world go blind, very conveniently too, for a violent concept in the first place, while violating well it's basically like I have that on repeat all day in my head and the reason is a government employee put a needle in my arm who is supposed to protect and serve me so as you can see and I bet you'd be jealous of my demeanor the amount of energy and power and output <laughs> faith good scruples objective moral conviction objective ethics um now i get to go try another while this time it is in burlington being sacked by this exact thing, blaming it on me the whole while, so I shall feel guilty, bad, an ostracized pariah. Well, it is what it is, as some are so fond of saying. So it being what it is, I can see far enough to see there's ten seconds left. What would you wish for? <laughs> 